California, I'm talking to you. It's time. It's time for you to get your shit together. Okay? Look, I just made a video about Caitlyn Jenner running for governor. And in all seriousness, this is a completely serious message. In all seriousness, get your shit together. There's a new person that's going to enter this race, it looks like. I thought at first this was a joke. I really did. I thought uh, it was just clickbait. And apparently, this is very real. Very real. Meet Kevin Paprath, also known as Meet Kevin, to the YouTube world. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't know who this guy is. Well, a lot of people do. He actually has a pretty decent subscriber range on YouTube and is heavily invested in stocks, investing, and real estate. He does uh, own several rental properties, does flips. Uh, he does host a YouTube channel with approximately 1.58 million subscribers. Now, I started watching Meet Kevin about a year ago um, when I started following stocks a little more seriously. And I like Kevin because he is more on the conservative side of investing. He does a great job of breaking down uh, the stock market and, you know, maybe trying to calm down your nerves. He also offers several uh, courses that you can do on YouTube, investing, flipping houses, um, several things money management wise. <laughs> and he seems to really, really have his shit together. And throughout this whole COVID pandemic, and the stimulus package, he did daily updates on it. He read the bills. He broke them down for people in layman's terms as to what everything meant. Now, arguably, some of it was kind of clickbaity. Um, some of the videos were, you know, 15 or 20 minutes of no news. But he's still committed to doing it every single day. He's been interviewing CEOs of major companies, people who are uh, definitely influential in the stock market. And, you know, it popped up and said that he's going to run for governor. And I thought, that's what we need. We need somebody younger, the different perspective, who's not really hardcore left or right. I would say maybe he's moderate left. From He does keep politics pretty much to a zero on his channel. He's very Switzerland on all of his content. Um, clearly he has a political view and in running for governor, we're going to find out what it is. Um, but when you put him up next to Caitlyn Jenner, this is a no brainer. Now there are other people running. There are, um, we are probably not really going to know who they are in terms of, uh, the average Joe, but I have a feeling that the majority of people know who Caitlyn Jenner is. And I would say a decent amount know who Meet Kevin is. And if he runs a good Groundworks campaign, you have a good chance of pulling yourself out of a slump. Look, he's not, he's not a dumb guy. He's a smart guy. He uh, understands politics very well. He understands uh, a lot of the economic structure, I think, pretty well. And I think he's going to have the right team of people around him. He's also committed to, you know, when, it, when they ask him about his YouTube content, he said that he would likely have more content because he would then have a crew of people that work with him to help provide content with updates and governmental updates, which is huge. He'd probably be the first one, the first governor to really break out and, and do that. You know, Trump was the first president to really use social media to his advantage and also disadvantage um, because Trump was a little bit unhinged. But I feel like if we had somebody with the reach that Kevin has and the potential reach that he's going to have just by campaigning, um, you get a good push and I think you could turn it around. You get somebody who's not interested in playing the game, has to play the game to win, but he's not interested in playing the game long term. But he's going to have to play the game to win. You know, he's going to take suggestions from people. He's going to build a good team around him. And that's probably why he's going to have a hard time pulling through and actually winning the campaign but it is exciting to see somebody throw their name in the hat who is very i'm gonna say conservative with their attitude he dedicates a lot of time to youtube look if you think that it's just some youtuber out there that wants to get his five, 15 minutes of fame bro let me tell you this guy puts in some work some serious work into youtube it's it for you know for him it's a it's a full and a half time job 
which is impressive having a wife and kids and doing all this other stuff that he likes to do. Um, but I think when it came down to it, he did not want to leave California. I think he actually does love living in California and knows that something has to change. Why not? Why not try? And so props to Kevin. Kevin Pafraff, you put up a video earlier talking about your, and I'm going to put a link to it, your um, thoughts on moving forward and getting advice as far as branding and marketing and people who could uh, help you out through your campaign and if you should change your name. Bro, there's nothing wrong with Kevin Pafraff. That's who you are. That's your name, right? You don't need to be a Caitlyn Jenner to, to be a Caitlyn Jenner. You just need to be Kevin Pafraff, bro. You could be Meet Kevin. Everyone knows you as Meet Kevin. There's another Kevin running. Guess what? We don't know him either. So let them let him run. You know, whatever. But run as Pafraff, bro. That's my advice. You don't need a pseudonym to run for, for office. Trump was great. People knew Trump ahead of time. People knew Trump most of their lives. Right? I never knew a Gavin Newsom. I'm not from California, I've never been there, and I can't vote for you. But if I could vote for you, I would. I would support this. So, California, I'm talking to you. Get your shit together and support Kevin Pathraff for governor. That's what I'm saying. Till next time, see you later.